Ah, hey, it's you. Good ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw some traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frickin' repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Turk comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. And you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go! Uh, I mean, uh, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gossen mostly, and they radio up the chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a single scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked on your red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How, how are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Raimi thinks I'm a gas. And I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation, Idea. I don't see what the state of matter you are has to do with this. And I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yero. That, at least, we can agree on. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Hornfells, yep, burn marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any. But who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wh wherever you're reading this, note you're I'm sure you've got bigger problems.
Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. One warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work here is calling. I'll return with more material soon. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Polk found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Would I visit some time to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Yarrow, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her dead city rivals the neutron stars. And go and meet her at the White Hole Station.